finale of Classmates Well B Season 10, presented by Classmate and powered by the Times of India. This is an initiative by Radio Mirchi. Before the break, we were talking about bum fuzzle. And no, it doesn't mean a hairy backside, but it rather refers to being flustered, confused, or to cause confusion. And it comes from the old English word dumfoozle. And now it's time to begin round two, but before that, let's take a peek at the scores. In fourth place with 10 points, we have Shikha. In third place with 15 points, Anvi. In second place with 20 points, Pritham. And our current leader with a perfect score of 30 points is Shrija. Unfortunately, Shikha, that means that we have to say goodbye to you, which is very painful. You made it so far, but unfortunately, one of you has to be eliminated at this stage of the competition. Yes. But you were so much fun. You have such a wonderful personality. And I, I hope that you get up to some mischief. I hope that you get caught. I hope so too. And I hope that they're not strict on you when you do get caught. And most importantly, I hope that you do become the detective that you want to and that you root out all the corruption that exists. Surely. But really, let's give Shikha a huge round of applause. It's time now for us to play round two with our remaining three contestants as we inch closer and closer to finding out who becomes Classmates Spell B Season 10's champion. Let's call to the podium Anvi Yadav again from DAV Public School in Gurugram. <laughs> Welcome back, Anvi. We just gave you a short break to recover from round one. It was very close, but you made it just with the skin of your teeth. And you're here, you're alive, you have 15 points to your score. I wish you all the best. Your first word for 10 points is Scrivener. Meaning? A clerk, scribe or notary. Origin? Middle English. Could you use it in a sentence? Before achieving his literary celebrity, he worked as a Scrivener in a law firm. I'd like to spell it as S C R I V E N E R. Absolutely right. Your next word, also worth 10 points, is thaumaturgy. Origin, please. Greek via Latin. Could you use it in a sentence? Give him a fridge, a microwave, and two minutes, and he'll show you thaumaturgy with food. T H O M A T U R G Y. Classmates, what do we think? No, it's T H A U M A T U R G Y. I'm afraid, Anvi, you're incorrect and they are correct. That is the accurate spelling of thaumaturgy which means we do not give you points for that, but two words still remain in round two. Your third word could take your total to 35 points. Blani. Could I have the origin? It's named after a castle near Cork in Ireland. Could you give me the definition? Talk which aims to charm, flatter or persuade. I'd like to spell it as B-L-A-R-N-E-Y. That was very confident and absolutely correct. One word remains in round two. It could take your total to 45 points. Your word to spell is Sybarite. Sybarite. That is correct. Could you give me the definition? A person who is self-indulgent in their fondness for sensuous luxury. Could you give its origin? Greek via Latin. Usage in a sentence. You can tell from his possessions and his planned holidays that he is a Sybarite if there ever was one. S I B A R I T E I'm afraid you're off by one letter. S Y B A R I T E is the accurate spelling. But don't lose heart, you're still in the competition. We have round two remaining with Pritham and with Shrija. At the moment, Anvi, your total stands at 35 points. Well played. <laughs> it's a difficult round two. The words are getting more difficult. The competition is intense. We must continue. Let's invite to the podium now our only male contestant, Pritham R from Ryan International School in Bangalore.
Pritham, when we started uh, the semi-finals, there were only five girls. And now, if you look around you, you're the only boy in the finals. Do you feel the pressure to win for the boys? Not much. You want to win for yourself? Um, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Good luck to you. Your first word is worth 10 points. Seraphs. Origin. Hebrew via Latin and Greek. Meaning? Angelic beings associated with light, ardor and purity. Mm, S-E-R-A-P-H-S. That's correct. Your second word to spell for 10 points is Techily. Language of origin? Old French. Um, meaning? In an irritable and bad-tempered manner. Is it T-E-C-H-I-L-E? -E? Very quick to answer that, but I'm afraid it's incorrect. T-E-T-C-H-I-L-Y is the accurate spelling. You're currently at 30 points, trailing only by 5 points behind Anvi. Your word to spell is Amanuensis. Amanuensis, meaning? A literary or artistic assistant, in particular one who takes dictation or copies manuscripts. Language of origin? It is of Latin origin. Um, part of speech? It is a noun. A M M A N U E N S I S. I'm afraid that's incorrect. A-M-A-N-U-E-N-S-I-S. -A -E you have one more word to spell in round two. Fermata. Language of origin? It is of Italian origin. Meaning? A pause of unspecified length on a note or rest. Can you use it in a sentence? The fermata towards the end of the overture added drama to the musical piece. F E R M A T A. That is absolutely correct. Well done, Pritham. I'm pleased to tell you that at the end of round two, you have a solid score of 40 points. Well played. Let's welcome her back to the podium, Shrija Malipudi from Narayana IIT Olympiad School in Vijayawada. So, what do you make of round two so far? Yeah, the words are pretty tough. Were you struggling with some of them? Yeah. Have you thought about what you'll do if you win the competition? No. How you'll spend two lakh rupees? I'll give my parents. Good luck to you. Your first word in round two is roulade. And can you give me the definition? A dish cooked or served in the form of a roll. I can use my classmate kind of option. You absolutely can. Classmates, 30 seconds to confer and spell out roulade. So, um, we are fairly certain. Yeah, we want to go with R-O-U-L-A-D-E. I'll go with it. They're right. So, they're right and you're right. And that adds 10 points to your total. And you're surging ahead now with a total of 40 points, Srija. Well done. We move now to your second word in round two. Farrier. Can you use it in a sentence? The callous farrier damaged the colt's hoof with one too many taps of his hammer. And can you give me the origin? It is Latin via French. F-A-R-R-I-E-R. -R -E farrier. Are you familiar with what the word means? It doesn't matter because you spelled it correctly. A farrier is a smith who shoes horses. You're currently in the lead with 50 points. You've secured your place in the third round of Classmate Spell B Season 10, inching towards champion title. But two words remain in round two. It can take your total up to 70 points if you spell them both correctly. Your third word worth 10 points is recidivism. Can you give me the definition? The tendency of a convicted criminal to reoffend. Can you use it in a sentence? The lack of a rehabilitation program has given rise to recidivism amongst first-time offenders. Okay, I'll go with R E C E D I V I S M. Recidivism. Off by just one letter. It's an I, not an E. 
R-E-C-I-D-I-V-I-S-M. No matter. One word remains in round two. That word, to take your total to 60 points, is causey. Can you give me the definition? It means a causeway or an ancient Roman highway. I'll go with C-O-Z-Y, causey. I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling is C-A-U-S-E-Y, causey. But no matter, because at the end of round two, Shrija with a solid score of 50 points, you're through to round three. Very well played. Well, that was really some spellodrama there. The tension, the speculation, and the emotions. And finally, we have come down to two contestants battling it out for one prize trophy. So lots of excitement and lots of nervousness in the air. But let's hope to ease the atmosphere with another funny word to think about in the break. Collie wobbles. This is Classmates Well B Season 10, presented by Classmate and powered by The Times of India.